what's up everybody all right now today we're gonna talk about books okay down here i got a stack of books that i read yes i'm gonna talk about books today so why is reading books important well you gain new knowledge new skills you know, you get to learn from other people's experiences and they help you to, you know, get good at whatever it is that you're trying to do. Either be, you know, if it's finance, business, relationship, anything, you name it, there's a book out there for that. And uh, when it comes to this ch channel, since I'm, you know, willing to talk about wealth and wealth accumulation, I try to read finance books, books about finance as much as I can, you know. Usually I do this on, you know, during my exercise routines. I have an app on my phone. It's called Audible. Some of you guys know it. Uh, it's basically an app you can download on your phone. Uh, and you can, you know, you can buy books from there and you can read them as you're, you're doing your workout like I do. Or, you know, you just don't have time to sit down and read physical books. You know, you can be driving and, you know, be listening to audiobooks. And uh, so I have a list of a lot of books on here. I think I have like 63 books that I read. Yeah. 63 titles of books that I read. Here's the list right here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, just read them off. All 63 books. So you can have a better idea of what I'm interested in. And, you know, where I'm trying to go with my life based on the books that I'm reading. So I hope you're reading, a, you, you were trying to read a book too, you know. It's kind of hard to start, especially if you're not used to reading books. But if you want to succeed, succeed in life, you're going to start, you need to develop the habit of reading books. Okay, so for me personally, I'm trying to, you know, in, uh, increase my my finance, my, my the kind of money I have in my bank account. I want, I want better wealth, basically, just like most people out there. So... I mainly focus towards the books that are more towards the financial, you know, aspects of life. And uh, there are some books in here that are not financially related, but, you know, they also do help help me gain more knowledge, of my more broad knowledge of the world out there. So I'm going to go ahead and start reading off the list of the books that I read. So here we go all 63 books so the first one i'm currently reading right now is a book that i really like and it's uh most people out there on youtube are talking about this book and it's a really good book so far i'm about two hours into it right now so the book that i'm talking about is called atomic habits so that's the first book on the list and then the second book is 48 Laws of Power, and then the next one is, Am I Being Too Subtle? And then the next title is, Economic Gangsters. <laughs> okay, and then the next one is, The Greatest Salesman in the World. That's a really good book. And then the next one, I have some biographies in here. Uh, Deng Xiaoping is... It's a former Chinese president. And then the next one is Tower of Basil. And then the next one is The Rothschilds. The next one is The Biology of Belief. The next one is The New Tsar. Ah, Vladimir Putin. Okay. And then we have How Far Do You Want to Go? So I'm starting to read off the titles, just the titles. And then the Google story. The House of Morgan. 
Neville Goddard, the complete reader. 10X Mentor. This is a really good book by Grant Cardone. The Secret of the Ages. If you're not first, you're last. Be obsessed or be average. James Allen, The Complete Premium Collection. No BS Direct Marketing. $100 million offers. The First Tycoon. I think this is... Um, Cornelius Vanderbilt biography. And the next one is a no BS wealth attraction in the new economy. The trillion dollar conspiracy invent and wonder Jeff Bezos. Plato's Republic Genghis Khan Walt Disney buy then build the Age of Reason, Thomas Jefferson, The Art of Power, The Snowball, this one's about Warren Buffett, Elon Musk, The New Psychology, Good to Great, The Everything Store, Amazon, Mental Chemistry, Flash Boys, this is the stock market. Thomas Edison, Homeless the Billionaire. This is a really good book. As a Man Thinketh from Poverty to Power. My Life and Work. This is about Henry Ford. Teachings of Buddha. <laughs> Confucius. Lao Tzu in the Chinese Philosophy. The New Confessions of an Economic Hitman, Million Dollar Habits, Wisdom of Success by Napoleon Hill. This is a good book. He was trying to interview, uh, who is this? Whoops. Okay, I'm lost a little bit here. Sorry. Okay, where was I? A wizard. This one's about uh, Nikola Tesla. It's a pretty good book. Okay, next uh, we got Economics, Making Sense of the Modern Economy, Hedge Fund Market Wizards, Wealth of Nations, Power play, it's about Elon Musk, Sam Walton, Made in America, <laughs> uh, the Walmart founder, okay, the science of getting rich, empire, okay, and then we have the autography of Andrew Carnegie. 59 seconds, Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple, unscripted, flash crash, and the virgin way by Riches Branson. So those are the books that I'm reading so far. And there's, there's a couple more that I've read already that aren't on here, but just an overview of the kind of books that I read on audio. So Hopefully you are reading books too, you know, just in, just if you want to, you know, better improve your life. So thanks for watching, by the way, if you made it this far, thank you very much. And uh, let me know what kind of books you like to read in the comment section below, okay? So just sharing you a little bit about, you know, my books that I read and what I'm into. So if you like the video... Like and subscribe if you haven't done so, and I will see you in the next one.